on this. I just found out this morning that this was accepted by Philadelphia Poets for their um, 2018 literary journal. It's called East River Drive. Oh. <laughs> Rowers at dawn gliding on the Schuylkill River beneath a midnight blue sky. Lush green frames boathouse row, a string of Victorian canoe homes. Willows weep and oaks give shade, dogwoods and lilacs aflame. A coxswain, a coxswain's yells break the silence as she directs rowers, startling joggers, and a sole osprey. Ducks swoop and seagulls silently hover before traffic snarls and mean streets draw mayhem. City of brotherly love and mother nature join hands. And, uh, thank you. In honor of um, it's Italian called Troma. Um, this is called Contemplating a Brood Song. The driver tells me the English are coming. They're buying up houses. Air travels cheaper these days. I hide my extreme displeasure. I want to keep a brute cell all to myself. I don't want its secrets revealed. My origins are rooted in a land of stark, untamed nature, where beech trees shaped like big cotton balls dot the rocky mountainsides. Patches of brilliant broom sprout along hills by roadsides wherever they fancy. And its most famous monument, a national park, attracts chamois, eagles, wolves, and bears. Not boisterous tourists, as does Tuscany, the prissy picture postcard of a region whose perfectly placed trees make me think the gods went a little crazy with their manicure kit. Were the English a flock for years, then joined by Americans, when writers possessing a dim understanding of the land seduce them with their flowery prose. Will the hordes appreciate Abruzzo's hidden beauty, the Orfento Valley, cloaked in a massive shadow, or spotted bright green when the sun plays hide and seek? Medieval churches adorned with little gold and ancient abbeys situated off the beaten track. Will they savor lamb stew, pasta shaped like guitar strings, and pork roasted to perfection. <laughs> the traffic's bad enough as it is, even in the smallest of cities. I want to put a reserve sign on Abruzzo's pristine beaches. I still remember the striped hues of the Adriatic and the pale green surf that popped into view shortly after the train left Pescara. Mellow waves mimicking teasing tongues shot up every which way.